What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and we're going to preview the 2024 schedule for South Carolina and give you a very early projected record here in this video. Before we get to 2024, let's look back at 2023. Here was the schedule for last season for South Carolina. Now you can see it's a tough schedule. It's always a tough schedule. So South Carolina and Florida always have really tough schedules because South Carolina plays Clemson, Florida plays Florida State, and both teams are usually not scared to go out and schedule another Power 5 opponent in the non-conference. So they usually play two Power 5 uh, non-conference opponents, or I guess we should say Power 4 now, whatever. But uh, they, they always play tough schedules, and you can see the schedule really caught up to South Carolina last year. Uh, they were only able to win five games, not get to a bowl game. But if you just, you know, let's replace North Carolina with an FCS team or, or a, a group of five team, South Carolina gets to a bowl game. So really the schedule was the reason why they didn't get to a bowl game and obviously the fact that this team underperformed. But we get to this 2024 schedule and it's not quite as tough in the non-conference. You can see they did not schedule a second power opponent. They do have Clemson who they play every year. But then other than that, they played Old, they play Old Dominion Akron and Wofford so that is not a very tough non-conference schedule and Clemson's really not what they used to be so that's a game that you know South Carolina will have a chance to win so a very manageable non-conference schedule but uh, I don't know if the SEC did them any favors we'll get to the home schedule here uh, those three non-conference games and they get LSU Ole Miss Texas A&M and Missouri so you're talking about four teams that are probably in the top half of the SEC maybe even the top six or seven. Um, you get them at home, yes, but they're going to have to win one of these games. I mean, they, they, it's, it's a schedule is really tough. And so, yeah, you've got a really tough schedule here with the home schedule in the SEC. What about the road schedule? Well, again, there's Clemson. They also play at Kentucky. That'll be tough. At Alabama, that'll be really tough. Oklahoma on the road, that'll be really tough. And then Vanderbilt. So this is a brutal, brutal schedule. Uh, you know, the, that's the only good news is you get Vanderbilt. But they have to play them on the road, so you never know. They might slip up in that game. So let's go week by week. They'll start with Old Dominion on August 31st at home, and then it's right into SEC play in week two on the road at Kentucky. Then they get LSU on September 14th at home and Akron on the 21st. They get a bye week after Akron, but just looking at those first four games, yeah, you've got two easier non-conference games, but it's a road game against Kentucky and a home game against LSU. Both games will be very difficult, and it does not get any easier from there. I mean, this schedule, I haven't done my schedule rankings yet. Those will come out later, but this this is probably going to be one of the top, I don't know, top three or four toughest schedules in the country. Once we actually get those rankings out, we'll see. But uh, Ole Miss there on October the 5th at home. That's good news. You get them at home. But then look at this. Back-to-back -back road games at Alabama on the 12th and then at Oklahoma on the 19th. So back-to-back -back very difficult games on the road. And again, that's after playing Ole Miss, who could be a top-five team this year. That is a really tough stretch there. They get a bye week after Oklahoma. Uh, that's good news there. But then it's just right back to it. You get Texas A&M on November 2nd. At least that one's at home. Then Vanderbilt on the road on November 9th. Back home for Missouri on the 16th and Wofford on the 23rd. And they close things out on the road at Clemson. So it gets a little easier after that second bye week. You know, Texas A&M at home, that's a game you, you would think they've got a shot in. They'd probably be underdogs, but they should have a shot in that game, especially playing at home. Vanderbilt's a game where they should be favored. Missouri, maybe they get a shot. They have a shot there if Missouri's not as good as they were last year. And then Wofford and Clemson. So that, that last stretch is not horrible, but I'm telling you, the three-game stretch from Ole Miss to Oklahoma, that's about as tough as it gets. We're talking about two top eight teams in Ole Miss and Alabama, Oklahoma, maybe a top 12, top 15 type team. So a really tough stretch there. And again, they get into SEC play week two against Kentucky. So this is overall just a really, really tough schedule. Got to be one of the toughest in the country. Uh, it's gonna make it's gonna make it tough for South Carolina again to get to a bowl game. I mean, you look at Old Dominion, you look at Akron, you look at Wofford, those three games, and you look at Vanderbilt. And let's, let's say they'll be favored in that game. There's four games where they, you know, those are four wins I think you can can probably get. But then where do you go for a fifth and sixth win? You know, they're gonna have to go on the road and beat a Kentucky. They're gonna have to upset Missouri or Texas A&M or, or upset Clemson. This is a really tough schedule, and I think it's going to make it really tough once again.
for South Carolina to get to a bowl game. You can see, of course, a five and seven record for South Carolina. Our projection had them at seven and five. My personal prediction was six and six. Athlon had them at seven and five. The over under was at six and a half. I actually wanted to pick this team to go five and seven, but uh, you know, seeing the other predictions at seven and five, you know, knowing what they had back coming back on offense with Spencer Rattler at quarterback and. I couldn't pull the trigger on five and seven because I didn't want to look stupid. Well, I would have been right on the money if I had gone with five and seven. Um, I wound up picking them to beat Clemson really just to get them to six and six. Um, of course, if I had gone the other way, then I would have been further off on Clemson. But anyways, uh, South Carolina, very disappointing last year. And again, they were below the projections a game and a half under the over under. Uh, which at least I was on the right side of that with my prediction. But again, our projection was higher. They had them on seven and five, and that's what Athlon predicted as well. We'll see what the projections look like this year. Again, here's the schedule. This is the scale that we use. So if it's under 20, over 80, these are games that are pretty much guaranteed wins or losses. 20 to 29, 71 to 80 games where I think the spread will be uh, double digits. Uh, team's going to be a, a pretty clear favorite by a decent amount. And then 30 to 39, 61 to 70 games where I think it's going to be much closer, more like a touchdown spread. And then your 50-50 games will be in the white. These are games that could really go either way. And so we'll start with the easy wins. They do have three of them. So that's the good news. If they had the this non-conference schedule last season, they would have gone 6-6 six and six and would have made it to a bowl game. And, of course, they played North Carolina in the non-conference. But, yeah, Old Dominion, Akron, and Wofford should be easy wins for the Gamecocks. I uh, just don't see them having any problem in any of those games. Although Old Dominion... Uh, you know, I don't really know much about them for this upcoming season, but I know they, they have won some decent games in the past, so who knows. But I think I think that's one where South Carolina should should take care of business. So you've got three wins there that you can pretty much count on. That's the good news. Now we get to the rest of the schedule where, honestly, I don't think they're going to be favored. They might be favored in one more game. I think that's probably about it. Uh, I think Kentucky, LSU, Missouri, and Clemson, these are all games where they're going to be underdogs by – about a touchdown, and honestly, maybe more than that. Uh, this is just with the formula that we use. So, um, Kentucky is in a tier above South Carolina in my tier system. Plus, the game is on the road. That's why this one's in the yellow. Um, LSU, that's obviously going to be a tough one. But it's at home. LSU and Missouri at home, that's what puts them keeps these games in the yellow instead of in the orange. Uh, home field advantage is obviously very big. And South Carolina has a great home field advantage. And then Clemson on the road, that'll be a tough one there to close out the season. But it's not impossible. It's a rivalry game. Anything can happen. But I do think South Carolina will clearly be underdogs in these games. But again, not by a lot, but they will be underdogs in all four of these games. And then the games where I think they'll be even bigger underdogs, Ole Miss and Oklahoma. I think you're probably talking about uh, double-digit underdogs in both of these games. I've got Ole Miss as, as a Tier 1 team. I think Ole Miss is going to be that good. Um, Oklahoma, not a Tier 1 team, but this one is on the road. That's why it is in the orange. If this was in a home game, then it would be in the yellow but uh, these games are obviously going to be very tough and it's it's you know it's hard to imagine south carolina winning either one of those games and i'm going to go ahead and say they have no chance against alabama it's on the road this is still i know nick saban's gone but it's still a really talented team uh this is still a top tier team and i don't see south carolina really competing in that game if it was at home it'd be in the orange and you'd say maybe they've got a, a chance but on the road no i, I just don't think so and then that's going to leave texas a&m and vanderbilt and these are the 50 50 games these are the games where if you win both of these, you get to five and seven. You're still going to have to pull off a pretty big upset to get to a bowl game. So it's going to be tough for South Carolina this year. Uh, I think Texas A&M is a better team. I think they'll be favored. But home field advantage, again, makes this one close. And I think South Carolina has a chance to get that win. And I would even – so I have a formula that I use, and I stick with that. But if I was giving you my personal just kind of predictions here, I would probably put Texas A&M in the yellow – and I would put Vanderbilt in the in the pink or the purple because I think that uh, I do think South Carolina should be favored by about a touchdown in that game if I was just going by that. And I think Texas A&M probably will be favored by about a touchdown. Uh, but again, with the formula that we use, uh, Texas A&M is just in one tier above South Carolina. Home field advantage swings that down to a 50-50 game. And I have South Carolina in a tier above Vanderbilt because it's on the road. That swings that one down to a 50-50 game. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyways, uh, it, it's a tough schedule, obviously. And only three games, I, I think four games, where they'll be favored. I do think they'll be favored against Vanderbilt, even if it is only a field goal. Um, that means they're going to have to pull off some upsets to get, just to get to a bowl game. But the odds would say, you know, if you've got, let's just say three games in the yellow, which they've got four. If you've got three games in the yellow, 
odds would say you're going to pull off a win in one of those games. And they've got four of them. So maybe they could pull off two wins. Maybe they could get to uh, potentially a bowl game. Or maybe they beat Texas A&M when one of the games in the yellow beat Vanderbilt. You know, there are different ways for them to get there. But that is the projection, actually. Six and six. That's where South Carolina is projected with our formula. Uh, getting to a bowl game. But I think it's going to be tough. Uh, this team's going to have to improve from where they were last year if they're going to beat a team like Kentucky or LSU or Missouri or Clemson. Uh, or, or even Texas A&M. So I think it's going to be tough for them to get to a bowl game. Not impossible. Our projection does say that they'll do it, though, as it's got the Gamecocks at 6-6. Six and six. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What are your projections and your thoughts on this team? Let me know down in the comments below.